Okay, so we're gonna get up and moving here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be going over the all new Maserati Ghibli. Before we get in this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Maserati of downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Ghibli. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for John. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo three liter V6 paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. It puts out 424 horsepower and then 428 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see there's distinctive lines there on either side. The white paint kind of hides it a little bit, but I think it looks good. We've got these really cool daytime running lights there with the headlights. And then you guys can see we've got parking sensors on the front end. Of course, we got a Maserati badger at the top and then we got the Maserati Trident in the grill. And then notice we got some carbon fiber trim here at the bottom. And here's a closer look at that grill. It's pretty cool with the design. Sorry about my shadow in this shot, but putting it all together, I love the front end of this. Coming around the side here, tire wheel setup is 245 40 20 in the front and then 285 35 20 in the rear. And taking a closer look at the wheels, you guys can see all blacked out, tons of spokes, and you got the red brake caliper to accent that. Now, of course, we got the Maserati side vent here with the Modena logo, and then you guys can see carbon fiber mirror cap, and even on the door handles, as well as the window seal. I think that looks pretty dang sweet actually with all the carbon fiber. And then you guys can see another Maserati Trident there in the back. And putting it all together, I love the side view of this, especially that like body line at the bottom. That looks great. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, the opening for the trunk, and then the remote start function, as well as the Maserati Trident there in the back. So we'll press this a couple times and boom. Now, popping into the trunk of the Ghibli, this is one of the big benefits of this car is it's actually very spacious with the trunk cargo area. So if you, if you need space, go with the Ghibli. And then when we're all done, we can press this to lock it or just press that button and that'll lower the trunk right back down. Now, we also have a carbon fiber spoiler here on the back end. And then you guys can see the tail lights. It's kind of like a signature design of Maserati. And then I like how the badges on the back are darkened. And then parking sensors here at the bottom, as well as you guys can see exhaust tips here on the back end. And if you guys are wondering, this is a service loaner, so that's why we got a little uh, little scuff on the back. But anyways, putting it all together, I think this car is just beautiful. Now, taking a look at the door panel here in the rear, first off, notice frameless windows, which is very unique. And then you guys can see here, we've got this beautiful red stitching, really nice leather. We've got carbon fiber trim, and look at the design down below, and then you guys can see more of that red stitching um, but overall it looks fantastic of course got the Maserati Trident here in the headrest and then look at the design all down the center portion of the seat legroom here in the back is pretty good and then you guys can see we've got a little cargo net here we've got some vents here for the rear passengers as well and then headroom back here is also good and don't you worry the Ghibli comes with a center console cup holder armrest setup now taking a look at the front door panel here, you guys can see the red stitching at the top and then you guys can see the carbon fiber trim down below and then look at the leather trim down below that and then more of the red stitching. Looks fantastic. We've got all of our window controls right here. Notice the mirrors do power fold in and then we also have memory seat functionality and I like how the door handle connects to that trim piece. Anyways, blind spot monitoring the mirrors on top of all of that. You guys can see again, we got the Maserati Trident there on the headrest and then look at the design here in the center of the seat. Beautiful with the red stitching and then we have all of our power adjustments here on the side and then our carbon fiber <laughs> Maserati logo and then look at the pedals too. Very premium looking. And then you guys will notice we got our light control here in this area and then also our stop start button. So taking a look at the steering wheel, we've got really nice leather trim all around. Notice it's perforated on the sides to get a slightly better grip and it just looks cool. We've got regular controls like our voice command controls, phone controls. This does come with adaptive cruise control as well as steering assist. And we have these cool carbon fiber paddle shifters mounted to the steering column. And then we of course have our little turn signal slash windshield wiper thing. Now here is our center gauge cluster. It's actually mostly analog, but you do have that screen there in the center to show you different bits of information on the vehicle itself. Um, pretty standard stuff, frankly, but when we change the drive mode, it gives us this cool little animation of the car, depending on what drive mode that you go into. 
Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and it's a 360 camera system so you can see out of every single angle with this car, you even have the bird's eye view as well. As for the rest of the infotainment system, first off, you guys can see we've got a little shortcut button for heated, cooled seats and our heated steering wheel, and then you got for the passenger just for the heated and cooled seat function. But anyway, shortcut bar here at the bottom of the infotainment screen. Got our dual zone climate controls as well. Um, so easy system to use. And then we have analog controls for the climb system just down below, which is also a great thing to have. Here's our shifter for that eight speed automatic transmission. Again, it's got that manual shift function so you can shift the gears yourself. And then next to you guys can see stability control at the top, auto stop start. And we have our ice mode, sport mode, and then this is for the suspension to basically put it in sport mode if you want it to be a little bit firmer for better handling. And then yeah, tons of carbon fiber trim all around. Parking brake here, and then I like our double stacks. So like this is to change the radio station, and then this is for the volume. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. And then you guys can see behind we got a little storage area. And we got our center console that opens up on either side, which is pretty cool. Decent storage space, some cup holders at the bottom, and really nice leather trim here. And speaking of nice leather trim, look at the dash, and with the red stitching, it's like all over. And then of course, got a clock there in the center as well. And then opening up the glove box, decent storage again lined with felts, and really nice handle there. And again, leather trim like all over the interior, and this is very nice. Up top, we got our controls here for the sunroof. You guys can see the sunroof itself, and then nice premium headliner as well. Now this Modena package starts at just over $90,000, but you can easily go over $100,000 with options on the Ghibli. Anyways, let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors just do blind spot monitoring and throughout the rest of the rear. And with that being said, well, ghibli away, right? And actually that 360 camera system could come into play right now. Let's use it. Surround camera. There we go. Look at that. That's why you got a 360 camera system so we can pull off of this ramp without hitting into a uh, well, Volvo on the one side and then is that an Acura on the other side? But anyways, first off, seat comfort with the Ghibli is actually really solid. And I did not close this door. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Let's uh, get this closed all the way. I'm like looking at the side there and I'm like, there is, I'm like, I'm like there's a little bit of a gap there. And it's like, oh, nope, the door's not closed. That's funny. But anyways, actually setting off here. Suspension's really good. We are in the uh, comfort setting. We're not in the sport setting with it. We'll put this up for you guys so you can see a little bit better. So I gotta adjust the GoPro. Okay, there we go. I promise I am a professional car reviewer. I promise. But anyway, suspension's really good in the Ghibli. Um, seat comfort's also solid as well. And yeah, I, I like this interior. Like this feels very premium. Again, tons of leather trim, carbon fiber. It's a very nice feeling interior engine super responsive yeah, it's just super snappy with the shifts it's very smooth too so I think they've done it I think they've done a great job with this powertrain combination yeah, the suspension is great I want to pop into the sport setting just to see how rough it feels in sport it's actually Not bad at all. It's um, it's not uncomfortable. Like it's still, it's still pretty comfortable even in the sport setting um, with the suspension. Pop into the sport with the engine as well and see how that kind of changes things up here with the Ghibli. Man, what is that in the middle of the road? It looks like a bag of exploded something that I probably shouldn't talk about on YouTube. But anyways, let's uh, get up and move here. Oh yeah, super responsive, super smooth too. I love this transmission and engine combo. Okay, so we're gonna get up and moving here. Super responsive. Let's actually pop it back into the regular suspension. It's a little bit smoother. These paddles are amazing. I mean, just the, they look so cool because carbon fiber, but they're, they're super responsive. So it just adds to the excitement, the driving experience. Yeah, they've done a really good job with this whole setup here. 
So some of the things up here with the Ghibli, um, I really like the looks of it. Um, I mean, I feel like that's kind of undeniable. I think I feel like Maserati's always been great with the styling. Um, but something's really impressive is these modern Maseratis have really nice interiors. Like the fit and finish is way better than it used to be. Um, build quality, it's, it's, it's improved a massive amount too. Like everything's really nice in here. Okay, we gotta get one more acceleration for you guys. <laughs> so quick. Yeah, you gotta love, and you gotta love the sound of this too. Um, but as I was saying, like Maserati has stepped up their game quite a bit recently. Like their cars are super, they're super fun to drive, but then this also just feels super luxury. But let me know what you guys think about the Ghibli.